Hi everybody, my name is Arno, Senior Technical Artist. And I'm Julian, 3D Technical Artist. In this video series, we'll present to you the easiest way to develop an interactive HMI with the Qt tools. In this video, we will talk about 3D and how to get it into the design studio. Let's get started with this topic. First, we will go into a 3D authoring tool. In this case, we will use Blender. But you can use any 3D authoring tool that is able to export in our supported file formats. The most supported file formats from our site are GLTF and FBX. But before we want to export anything, we want to make sure that our mesh of our model consists only of tries. A try means that our different polygons only have three vertices. After that, we can also see that we already prepared our materials for our model and we even have some textures on them. Apart from that, we also have animations. All of that will be exported into the GLTF or FBX file as well as the model. So now we can go into our export menu and look at the export settings. In this case, I will use GLTF format. And we can see we have different options we can choose from. Normally, I would only export the selected object. In this case, it isn't necessary because our scene only consists of one model. But when you have a big scene with different models, you want to have full control over the objects you want to export. The second settings we want to look at is the animation setting. And normally, the group NLA track would be selected as a standard value from Blender. But we don't want to have these NLA tracks for our export. NLA stands for Non-Linear Animation. And we can't use them in the Design Studio. So we deselect this option. After that, we can then export our GTF file. When we are finished with exporting, we can go into the Design Studio. Here we can create a project. We could select an empty project, or we also have the option to open a 3D project. In this case, we select a 3D option. And we give our project a name. In this case, we just call it demo. And then we can create our project. After our project is created, we can see that we already have a few things in our scene. So we have a fully prepared 3D scene with a camera and a light. And we also have this small label text. For our purpose, we don't need that. To get our own model into the, into the 3D scene, we now go to the Assets tab. Here, we will click this plus button and open our export file. After we click Import, it shouldn't take long, and we have our model imported. We already can see that we have our car in our My3D components. To work on them, we will now go into our View tab in Views and open a 3D window. Now we can see how the 3D scene is working. We have our light, we have our camera, and we have our 3D object. In that case, we don't need a cube, so we will just delete that. For the cute car, we can just bring that into our scene by drag and drop. And now we already can see we have not only our car, but we also have the materials and even the textures are imported as well. To work on the car, we can just use the Edit Component tab. Here we can go into our component. And we can see we have here the complete structure of the model as we had it in our Blender file. 
to work now on the materials, for example, we can go into the material editor. But now we can't select a different material. We would need to search them here in our object. We could use here our views again. So we open our views and we see we have a material browser ready. When I open the material browser, it will be opened in a new window. And here I can see all the materials that are inside of our model. For our test cases, we will just select the outside material. And here we could give the car a new color. When we are happy with our adjustments, we can go back to our screen. And here we can see our adjustments are set to our screen. When we now select our car, we can rotate it 90 degrees and adjust the height a little bit. You can always see here in our base state how the camera view looks like. When we preview our file, we can already see that even our animations are already working without any additional work. And that's the way how you can get your 3D objects into the design studio without much additional work. We wish you a happy learning experience and we will provide you with different links in the video description.